very proud, very pleased with the energy, the attitude our guys came out with. I thought we really locked in and executed a game plan to start. That's a really talented, well-coached team that we were able to beat uh, this evening. And we, we've talked about it. You get the first one, you feel a part of it, and anything can happen. Let's take questions for the student athletes. Show of hands. We have a microphone we'll bring to you. Name and affiliation, please, on the first question. Anyone? Let's start here. You're good. Who's a, I'm sorry, who's the question for? No, we're going to the student athletes first, please. Okay. Uh, Paul, you really got it going in the second half, sort of make some of those threes, you know, off, off the dribble. How important was it to try and stop the bleeding as they came back and came back and, and you hit some pretty important uh, outside shots? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was tough, especially since, you know, a couple of their guys really started to get going. I mean, Conchar played really well. Scott played another fantastic game. I mean, so. You know, I, I take pride in being the leader of this team, you know, and when, when things kind of start to go bad, I, I kind of put it a little bit on my shoulders to, to kind of get the guys together and try to make a play. Third row. Man, he's tough, you know. Um, I mean, you take away the three ball and he drives right by you to the rim. Um, and then you stay in front of him at the rim and he, he's finding a wide open guy for a three. Um, he's one of the best best players in our league, and he's really fun to compete against. Let's go all the way in the back there. Yeah, um, I thought I just had a couple couple bad fouls. Um, the first one I had was probably 92 feet from the hoop, um, and then that, that one right to to start the second half. Um, I, I just kind of tried to play a little bit smarter. Um, you know, the coaches trust me to be out there w with, with three fouls and uh, just trying to play smart, not commit any. Second row. <laughs> Uh, we just try to keep a cool head and uh, keep a positive attitude. So I was trying not to look at the scoreboard, but obviously we were aware of the situation. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit. Um, I mean, you know, it, it's just tough, especially when you know we know that that we kind of made a comeback on like that on them a couple years ago. Um, so, like I, like I said earlier, just always trying to stop the bleeding, uh, keep moving on to the next play. On the front again. Dan, you really had an expansion of minutes and really an expansion of production over the last couple weeks of the season, and obviously tonight. Do you attribute that to, to confidence or just kind of getting into the flow of the game? Uh, yeah, I think my confidence is starting to come up a lot. So, starting to play better and starting to just feel good. Matt? Absolutely, you know, um, you know they're they're the, they're the one seed. Um, you know they earned it. They're they're a heck of a team. Obviously got a great player in, in Mike Dom. Um, you know, so it'll just come come around to having a quick turnaround here. Um, hopefully getting some some sleep tonight if I'm even able to get any, um, and just coming out and being the, the tougher team again tomorrow night. We could take one or two more for the student athletes. We'll start here in the second row. Uh, dang, first half. Uh, I think it was just a lot of energy. You could feel it in, before the game in the locker room. We were just all hyped up and ready to go. Anything else for student athletes? OK, gentlemen, we'll go ahead and excuse you back to the locker room. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. And we'll continue with questions for Coach Richmond. Start here with Jeff. It's funny you brought that up. It's just looking at the box score, it's it's almost a microcosm of the game at Fort Wayne. You know, we were up. Uh, I think we had 51 to 40. They had a shot at the buzzer, and um, you know, uh, again, they're so. I, I'm not going to miss Bryson Scott. I'll tell you that. And they're just really, really talented. And and again, they flipped it. The only thing is, we were we were able to make a few more winning plays down the stretch, and maybe had built that lead up a little bit to start the second half, got it up to 22, something like that, and we were able to hang on. Front row. Coach, you may not have had the regular season that you had envisioned going into the season. How much could making a run in this tournament, not necessarily salvage things, but really give you guys a boost? 
Well, absolutely. I mean, this is this is the greatest time of year. No matter what you did, the last four you know four months or whatever, every everything comes down to this, whether we like it or not. And um, I'm very pleased with the way our guys came out. But we we talked about playing 120 minutes, and we've only played 40. Third row. Yeah, mine. No, <laughs> um, uh, but to the guys, yeah, absolutely. I'm really proud of our guys. There has been a lot of bumps and in, in, uh, along the way and some adversity. And uh, you go back to uh, the way we responded at Omaha last Saturday, and and we've kind of built some confidence. Had a good week of practice, and, and really proud. We we've seen us play like this. We just haven't done it consistently. It's just been in pieces. And uh, but we're we're fully aware that we're going to need everybody tomorrow night. Let's go third row over here. Dave, uh, with the talent that they've got, in particular, you know, with Concher and Scott, does that make you almost kind of preparing for a run like they, or I should say expecting a run like that, and then when you get it, maybe you're kind of prepared because you just kind of know a team like that probably is going to make a run at some point? Yeah, we, we specifically, Matt, talked about that at halftime. This is, that's what they do. Um, they, they, they're never in a game. They're never out of a game. It's just the way they play when they got talented guards like that. and. Um, you, you just you got to be prepared for that. I, I thought we got a little stagnant, maybe you know, quit moving a little bit in some of our offensive stuff, and um, and, and then got a little lax defensively. But we were able to hang on. That, that most importantly, down the front. Coach, you, I asked Dang about it. You've seen uptick in production from both Dang and Jared Samuelson over the last couple of weeks. What what do you think is going on with them? How have they been able to really step up their games as opposed to the first you know, X amount of season? I just think you got to grow through some things, Ross, and, and um, really, really credit those kids. Um, I love Jared Samson. You know, um, the kids just got him to just a big heart. He's tough as nails. He's got so much respect within the locker room, and he, you know, he had a bunch of those big ones um, in the first half to help us gap it. And you know, the other thing too was, you know, some of those charges he took today. I mean, he just understands, executes a game plan too, and. You know, we all know how talented Dang is. It's just a matter of getting comfortable, building that confidence. I think you're starting to see some of that. All the way in the back. Dave, uh, what does it say about Cameron Hunter not scoring the points? Those three throws out of the four that he made uh, with a minute left in the game. Yeah, we talked about in the locker room, too. I, I didn't think Cam he, he even had close to his best game. And, you know, some of his body language, some of his attitude things uh, went back to uh, where, where they had been. And but you know, we tried to you know keep them in it, keep them in the game. Told them we were going to need them, and you know he came up big and, and, and hit, hit three of those last four, which is huge. Third row. We got to come out and play with play our brand of basketball. Play with great energy again. Um, you know, obviously Mike Dom's a special talent. Uh, it's scary that David Jenkins didn't get going last night because they're fully capable of getting that going. You know, they just got a lot of guys, Reed Telling, Hughes and Lane Severin, you know, King, uh, that have been here and done it in this environment. And we know it's going to be a great environment at 6 o'clock come tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow evening. But our, our guys will be ready to go and excited for the opportunity.